doesn't have any salt at all. I don't feel the coconut. You missed a little bit of salt. And the winner is... Well, considering that last year's um, entrance won without any prior preparation whatsoever, and uh, I think our expectations are very high for this year's entrance. We feel so proud. Like I said, the school uh, is known for its academic performance and we have been winning in several other areas. Now, this is the first time that the students are taking part in something like a food shala, something about, you know, a cookery show. So we feel very good. My message would be to the students is be prepared to take some risks because the unexpected can happen. Aim high, work very hard. Success may or may not come, but uh, even failure is a, a form of self-development and can only make you better at whatever it is that you're trying to do. It feels so good to see the youngsters are showing interest in a, a basic skill like cookery and you are the ones probably you will take further ahead, uh, you know, all the importance of cooking and things like that. Go get it, Ambassador School! to the first league round of season two Lego Fuchala Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. I'm Amy and I'm your host for this season and we're here at the fabulous Bollywood parks and resorts. 12 teams have made it this far into the competition, the league round, but now they have got to battle it out for the six places in the quarterfinals. Hi, I'm Elena. And I'm Sudanshu. And, and we're, we're from, from Emirates International School, School Jumeirah. Hi, I'm Pratham. And I'm Pratika. We are Ambassador School. Being on Food Shala Kids Season 2 is a great experience as we can um, show our skills and, of culinary and uh, also express our passion for cooking. It's like an opportunity to decide what my future career path is going to be. I've actually never been part of such a big thing as Food Shower Kids and I'm really excited about it. Congratulations to Team Ambassador and Team Emirates International. You have done so well to make it this far in the competition. Now you have already beaten a lot of teams, but now you're going one-on-one -on -one against each other. Tell me, Team Ambassador, do you have anything to say to Team Emirates International? We are going to give them a tough competition. Ooh. So you better be ready. You better be ready. Are you ready, guys? We let the cooking do the talking. You're going to let the cooking do the talking. OK, guys. Well, I can't wait to see what both of you do in the kitchen. So maybe you want to take your places at the counters. I definitely feel nervous. And there is definitely a lot of pressure. You are going to be working in these professional kitchens for the next 13 weeks. So you must maintain professional discipline hygiene, and be responsible for what happens on your kitchen units. I have a little advantage challenge for you. If you take a look underneath your counter, our friends from Omo have left a little box under there. Would you like to bring it onto the top of the counter? This is the Omo 100 Stain Challenge. Inside this box, is 100 pieces of cloth, each one with a different stain. The winner of the challenge will get 75 minutes cooking time. The loser of the challenge will only get 70 minutes. So that means that they will start their challenge five minutes after the start time. So you have 30 seconds to find the stain blue ink. In three, two, one, go! The 
one more challenge. We came up with a strategy, uh, uh, the, st the cloth which does not, uh, which is the wrong stain, just keep it out of the box. This would prevent us, so, and that would this prevent would us from itself. looking at the same stain again and again. I found it! Woo! Yay! Congratulations, Hello. guys! Well done! So that means that Team Ambassador will be starting the competition with 75 minutes, while Team Emirates International will have 70 minutes cooking time. Losing five minutes was a big disadvantage to our team, as we'd been preparing for the time slot of 75 minutes, and we had to break this down to five minutes, and within that five minutes, a lot of stuff could have happened. Every student needs a mentor, and you guys are no exception. Someone who joined us last year and is going to be your mentor and your judge. He is the general manager of Wafi Restaurants. Can I have a drum roll, please? Yes, none other than Chef Mariano! Yeah. Hello, Amy. Chef. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Good. <laughs> wow, I'm very excited because actually today the competition starts. I feel like Chef Mariano is a really good mentor. Anything that goes wrong, he could lead us like the better way, but I hope not to see him mad. Emirates International. Last year, your school was the winner. Do you think you can keep the trophy in yes. your school? We'll yeah. try. Team Ambassador, they were the winner last year. Do you think you can beat them? Yes. Let me explain to you. Today, the theme goes international. You need to prepare four different dishes from different countries, nationalities. But one has to be a Marathi dish. Today, we will judge taste presentation, creativity with the Lego that you have made for us, and teamwork, very important. Do you understand the rules clearly? Yes. yes. You've got to stay super focused. Chef Mariano is going to be here to help you while you are cooking. I'm super excited for this. Me too, let's do it. Let's do this, guys. You can start cooking in five, five four, four, three, three two, two, one, go! go! Lego Fuchala Kids, presented by Lifeboy and Omo, in association with Alain Farms, Britannia, Tilda, Aquafresh, Red Tag, Rainbow, Bollywood Park, Media Partners, Radio 4, Eagle Eye Interiors. It's a K Company production. Cooking okay. in five, five four, three, three two, two, one, go! go! It's the first time we are working in a professional kitchen setup. We are definitely nervous, but are also excited as well. And it is an amazing opportunity as I've never been able to go in a cooking competition before. And this is my first time on camera as well. Team one, your time starts now. So today for the focus meal, we're making um, an Indian dish, a Thai dish, an uh, Emirati dish, and a European dish. So the Indian dish is chicken tikka with, um, with a mango raita. And then on the uh, Emirati dish, we have a fish majboos. And then the Thai dish, we have a summer salad. And then for the European dish, we've got a dessert, which is a strawberry vanilla cake. We decided to choose Jamaican rice and beans as our third dish as I once tried it at my aunt's place a while back and it was absolutely delicious. And the last dish is the quinoa salad. Once in school, I had the quinoa salad was in my friend's tiffin. And first I thought it was absolutely gross, but then I tried it and it was delicious. So I just had to make it. Today I've chosen a strawberry vanilla cake it's a European dish and the story behind this dish is that it's actually a family recipe. Um, when I was choosing my dish, I asked my grandmother 
if she has any recipes and she recommended me this dish as uh, because she used to make it to me when I was really small and I really enjoyed this dish so I decided to make it today. And that's the story behind my uh, cake. For the soup, we are having gazpacho soup. For, For a salad, we are having Latin American salad named the quinoa avocado salad. For the main course, we are having uh, a cuisine from Jamaica, which is the Jamaican rice and beans. And for the dessert, we, have an, we are having an Emirati dessert, which is called Lukima. Um, so my strengths are working under pressure and still uh, achieving a good dish and also balancing all the flavors of the Indian cuisine really well because I've been doing that since I was young. I have never cooked for a 75 minutes deadline before. I usually just take my sweet time and uh, I help my mom and I've never cooked in one hour 15 minutes before. Pratham, come here. What are you doing here? I'm making gazpacho soup. Gazpacho soup. But with I saw that you... With a twist of uh, watermelon. With a twist of watermelon, yes? yes? And what else? Which other twist do you put in? Uh, uh, after, I, after I blend this? Uh, uh, uh. What will we do with the seeds? No, I'm going to strain it after that. No, but then you are going to blend it before. If you blend it before, all the seeds goes inside. So remove all the watermelon, take the seeds out, and then blend it. Okay? Because if you blend it before, then the seeds will go inside. And they are very bitter. So we don't want to try that, yes? Thank you. After that, what else are you doing? I'm chopping the vegetables for the Jamaican rice and beans. Okay. And uh, after that, I'm going to make the um, the Emirati dessert. I thought Chef Mariano was going to be straight, but then he turned out to be very kind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you oh doing? Oh my God. This what is happened? Not, this is not holding in. Yes, it's holding in. Let me oh. help you. Yeah, it's going. But it's, yeah, it's falling out. Okay. You need to mix it. Yeah, I need hmm? to mix it. There you so go. much flour. That's for a cake. Yes. Yeah. Okay. For European cake. Venga. I'll see you soon. Huh? Yeah. Time goes very fast. So hurry up. During our 70 minutes of cooking, were probably the most biggest problem that we faced was not having enough time because be, because we had those five minutes that we didn't get um, we were starting to forget things like the salt and other things because I started making the salad when I was make when I was meant to be making the cake because I was really nervous what is the gazpacho? Hmm? what is I your put gazpacho? In the fridge. you put it in the fridge yeah do you put salt pepper yes what else? Salt, pepper, pepper, a little bit of Tabasco for the Tabasco? twist. Tabasco? For the twist. Tabasco? In the gazpacho? Yeah. Tabasco in the gazpacho, that's a lot of twists. That's used in Mexico. Huh? What are you making after that? You're making... I'm starting with the Jamaican rice. Okay, Jamaican rice yes. and... Quinoa salad. Quinoa salad. Make sure you have enough time to plate to your dishes. Yes. Okay? Don't hurry, clean a bit as well. Team, your 75 minutes is almost gone. You have only 20 seconds left, so start cleaning. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, everybody. Stop cooking. Your time is up. Guys, that is it. If you want to take a quick two minute break, you can go and grab some snacks at the snack bar and I will meet you back here ready for judging. And 
welcome back to LEGO Fuchella Kids presented by Omo and Lifeboy. Our teams have been creating four courses for our judges and it's now time to welcome our two distinguished judges to come and help Chef Mariano with the tasting. From the popular Steakhouse and Grill Butcher, an F&B brand from the Morass Group, we have General Manager Anna Jelesniak. And joining her is head chef from Butcher, Jar Garcia. Hello, Anna. Hey. How are you? Hi, Judge. Chef. Chef. Thank you for joining us, judges, on season two. I'm going to leave you now in Chef Mariano's capable hands. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amy. Team one, present your dishes, please. So I think our dishes are not uh, uh, extraordinary, but we'll try our best to make them look very special and not usual. Emirates International, please take us through the four courses and the whole creation with the Lego. So about the salad, it's called summer salad. Um, it's from Thailand. And for the starter, we then chicken tikka from India. And it's also with the sauce, uh, like a mango raita to balance out the spices. Then we have majboos for the main, which is a Marathi dish. For the cake, it's a strawberry yogurt cake. Um, it's actually a family recipe that uh, my grandmother and my mother would bake it to me when I was really small. And I really liked that recipe, so I decided to bring it to Fuchawa. The Lego theme that you created? Uh, it represents unity, so we've got different people as statues and they're from different places so they've got different skin color, different shapes and the ribbon, it's like they're holding hands together and wow. around the world. I really like that. Wow, just what I need now, a nice portion of salad. Looking really good, very summery. Can I ask you something? Didn't you forget anything? A little bit of salt. But I will order this salad in the restaurant for sure. Thank you. Well. The chicken is perfect. It's juicy. You can feel the flavors there, the dip as well. I really love it. Thank you. My much boost was looking really nice, but I remember that I hadn't added salt, and that could be a big disadvantage because having a main course without salt would taste like nothing. It would taste really bland. The rice is well cooked. I like the color, the presentation. It lacks some flavor. Even the fish as well, um, it doesn't have any salt at all. We both forgot about the salt. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. The sweetness is very well balanced. It's not too sweet. It's a, for me, it's the perfect size. Now I have to say, I want this recipe for me. Yeah, if you can give it to me, I'll make it myself at home, yes? I felt like really, really uh, thrilled and amazed because I wouldn't, I didn't think that he would actually want the recipe, and he like, it reminded him of his grandmother, and I'm, I'm really amazed. They couldn't get any better than that. When we saw the other team's dishes, like at the same time, they all looked like drinks. None of them looked like uh, a main course or anything. They literally all looked like drinks, and only the dessert was like not like a drink. Please take us through the dishes, as well as what you have created with Lego. For the starter, we have created a gazpacho soup, mm. which is from um, the 
Spain. Which is from Spain, yeah. <laughs> we have made quinoa salad, which is from uh, Latin America. We have Jamaican rice and bean, which is from Jamaica. And we have the lucumat from the Savannah. Uh, we have made a food truck using the Lego. It's a bike, not a truck. Well done. Um, Anna, you want to start? Absolutely. With the Spanish gazpacho with a twist. I always like when the dish is presented in transparent glassware because then you can actually easily see the color. I like the flavor, but what I would do is to put the croutons as a last minute.com because you don't want to lose this crunchiness. And the flavor is actually quite good. Tell me, what is the ingredients you put inside? I want to know more. The main ingredient is quinoa and there's liquid around it. As, as the quinoa, we had to boil it and the water from the quinoa has spread around it. I believe um, you missed a little bit of salt. The liquid around uh, when you are plating doesn't look so nice. As a quinoa salad, the dressing should not be like this. Now we'll try the Jamaican rice and beans. I can feel the rice. Do you put coconut inside or no? Yeah, it's coconut milk. I don't feel the coconut. There is no salt at all. The rice is very sticky. Together with the beans, I feel the, the, the beans, but the rice is very, very sticky. I don't know what went wrong with the rice. When I saw it, I thought it was okay. When you talk about Emirati cuisine, and especially about Emirati dessert, the first thing that came up in your mind is sugar. Exactly. My personal opinion it was lack of sugar. One piece was for to eat in one single shot was too big. You couldn't bite properly. A liquid mat is not easy to do, and uh, it was really crispy and very well yes. balanced. Okay, guys, overall, well done. <laughs> the time has come. We're going to give the judgment. Chef Joao, you want to start with uh, Team Emirates International? The two good points we found in your dish, the tikka was amazing, and the cake was perfect, remind our grandmothers. For the negative side, the salad, Anna Try, was without any seasoning, and without salt, will not bring any flavor up. So when the judges were giving us those amazing comments, I couldn't feel like any more happier than that. At that point, it was just like amazing and it felt like nothing could be better. We didn't expect that at all. Yeah. Team Ambassador de Gazpacho was excellent. More than that. As we mentioned, the dessert was lack of sweetness. Uh, it was very, very bland. So you needed more sugar. I would really love to say thank you guys for overall amazing job, great effort. Are you ready? And the winner is... Everest International. Well done, well done. Team Emirates International, congratulations. You are the first team to go through to the quarterfinals. The competition is going to get tougher and tougher because it's only just begun. And if you want to join us for more Foodshala Madness, don't forget to join us here next week here at LEGO Foodshala, presented by Omo and Lifeboy. Uh, so now finally the pressure is off and we're going into the quarterfinals. But that just means we're going to have more competition and everything's going to be more tough. So I think more pressure's on us now. I thought we would get uh, go to the next round. But then uh, I also knew that two of our dishes weren't wrong and the other team's 
dishes were also very good uh, there was a slight chance of our, us losing but unfortunately that came to me it's a k company production